Okay, as I promised you, folks. Here's a... Uh... Our first guest tonight is a young man from New Jersey who lives in uh, Santa Cruz, California now. He has an act any, unlike anything we've ever seen, and he calls it simply Bubble Magic. Would you welcome Tom Noddy? Thank you. As Johnny said, what I do is called Bubble Magic. I'll tell you what I do. I do bubbles inside of bubbles, smoke bubbles, clear bubbles, clear bubbles inside of smoke bubbles, smoke bubbles inside of clear bubbles, inside out bubbles, yin-yang bubbles, caterpillar bubbles, love bubbles, and a bubble cube. And the yin-yang bubble is a double bubble, a smoke bubble and a clear bubble, with a clear bubble and a smoke bubble and a smoke bubble and a clear bubble. It's my most typical trick to say. <laughs> this one's a nuclear bubble. <laughs> Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. No accident. Uh, it's okay, it was human error. <laughs> Don't worry, we have backup systems. Back up, everybody, back up! That's all they figured out so far, you know. <laughs> I'll show you the caterpillar bubble. See his antenna on the top here? His eyes. These guys can boogie. 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 I'll show you bubbles inside of bubbles. <laughs> that one tastes terrible the first couple of years. I don't recommend that one. Let me show you the inside out bubble. This is a cheap trick. Remember, I warned you. But it is an inside-out bubble. So you start with an ordinary bubble like this, and then if you take it back into here like that, and you turn this around. <laughs> inside, it's a cheap trick. I only have a couple of cheap tricks. I'll try and get them out of the way. Another one's nose bubbles. Hey! <laughs> I'll show you the Mount St. Helens bubble. I watched Mount St. Helens erupting a couple of years ago, traveling in Oregon. Show you what it looked like. It started with an earthquake, right? The whole mountain was trembling. <laughs> then there was an eruption. <laughs> there was ashes all over Oregon and Washington, Idaho. <laughs> Let me show you now the uh, the love bubble. Love is one of the most difficult tricks. Everybody knew that, right? Especially when you're looking for real love. Real love is oneness. Well, to get love, you have to overcome surface tension. <laughs> Scientists told me that, that's true. Real love is oneness. Oh, well, you've had that happen before, right? <laughs> I think persistence is the key to love. Birth! What you're seeing tonight is a product of 11 years of playing with bubbles almost every day. Y'all been doing other things, I've been busy. <laughs> Show you another way of putting bubbles inside of bubbles. tricky see if that middle one reaches the bottom it'll blip out blip is the official term I'm the bubble guy I make up all the rules here <laughs> there's a blip mm. 
Now the Wonderland bubble. It's okay, we have backup systems. I have to light up cigarettes to do it. I tried to quit smoking, but I didn't want to quit the act, you know? <laughs> For a while, I would only smoke when I was doing smoke bubbles. That didn't work. I needed a bubble after every meal. <laughs> <laughs> this next one I demonstrated one time in a mathematics lecture at uh, UCSC, University of California, Santa Cruz. The lecture was called Soap Film, Beer Bubbles, and Fluid Mechanics, Major Challenges in the History of Mathematics. <laughs> a friend of mine was a physics major. I told him I could do a bubble cube. And he thought about that and he said, bubble, well, no, he knows about the science, the physics. He said, well, bubble cube, well, that would be impossible. But well, he was a physics major with an incomplete understanding of physics, which many of us have. Which all of us have, right? Anybody know everything? You know, even Einstein said that E equals MC squared may in the end just be a local phenomenon. <laughs> but the physics major told me a bubble cube would be impossible. Okay, you get three tries with the bubble cube. I'm the bubble guy, make up all the rules. One more I want to show you. This one is called the Carousel Bubble. Thanks to David the Minstrel. Magic is no illusions, it's real magic. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. I asked our director, Bobby Quinn, this afternoon, I said, I don't want to see this, but any good? I said, yeah, man blowing bubbles. He says, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand how you can do oh, that? Oh, no, not at all. And his commentary is good, too. That's great. Thank you, Tom. Tom Very Nardi. Good. We'll be right back. Bubble <laughs> Magic.